maybe I should have waited until I reached this part before I talked about correcting mistakes. I'm very fortunate in this bill that um, Greg Herbert um, Cast and I every now and again when I post my videos on uh, the Nautical Research Guild um, and will make a comment. Um, sometimes it's a congratulations, other times he would very gently say, you know, if it was me, I would approach the build in this manner. In this case, he was very subtle, suggesting that I just take a look at the lights, which are the back windows to make sure that everything is lined up. And um, I have to say, I sniggered to myself because I had checked it so many times. Uh, the truth is, when I did check it, I found there was a major error and had to take the entire piece that we've just covered, had to take it all out. If anybody has any doubt why we use PVA glue, this is why. Everything has come out and believe it or not, Everything is intact, nothing got broken. I'm absolutely amazed. I know um, we've been through this since I have a whole video on, on correcting errors, but it's an interesting error. And um, I finally figured out what caused it. And it goes way, way back, um, almost to the, the very start of the build. As we all know, the key to finding a solution is really understanding what the problem was. And what it turned out to be is the starboard end of the stern was more out this way when we were lining up these pieces than this was. We're taking the inside measurement. And so we've marked it down here and the same thing on the other side. Sorry and the same thing on the other side. So now the inner side of both of these is exactly the same. And then we can slip this piece in and we'll mark it. We'll mark the center line. Off the bottom. Then we measure the inside. And so when we put it on, so it shows you we're still off the center line. So all we're doing it now is pulling this in. And so now that's perfect. And then what I'm gonna do is heat this up um, to put in a bend. Then I'm gonna glue everything up. And once I glue everything up, uh, plus the heat, heating of this side, I'm gonna get this perfectly lined up. Notice on the port side, um, I have put a stiffener. And that stiffener is to make sure that the, le the port side doesn't come in, only the starboard side. Well, here's the new transom in place, and it's square to the rudder, square to the frame board, um, so we can get back to where we were. So there we have it. 
um, all done, no longer frustrated. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you, I was very frustrated when I discovered the error. Um, but a day passes and you get over it, you take it out, you replace it, and you dust yourself off and get going again. So we are now going to start the planking of the upper deck. And we will have to put in the strakes for the uh, support of the beams on the foredeck. So we'll see you then. I'm taking a few weeks off, going to Tobago. I've sent you all pictures of that in the past, so I won't do it again. Um, but there will be nice white sand, blue Caribbean water, and lots of sailing. So see you and enjoy your modeling.